Taking a live look now at the lakeshore in Muskegon, where the cold temperatures are keeping it very icy. Yeah, look at that. Meteorologist Matt Kirkwood joining us now with more on this. Matt? Yeah, certainly things have iced up here across the Great Lakes, and here's another view of that over the Mackinac Bridge. You'll be able to see, actually, I traveled this yesterday, coming back from a snowmobile trip, and solid ice across the Straits area, and that's usually where it first forms. Nonetheless, uh, you'll be able to see that uh, ice concentration, while this is actually Grand Haven, you can't see out of it really well. That's because we uh, had a little bit of freezing drizzle out there, kind of clogging up or clouding up uh, the camera. Nonetheless, here we are after you know several weeks of pretty cold temperatures. This is where we stand, 34% ice coverage on Lake Superior. Lake Michigan actually down just a touch at 24%. You can see some of that ice kind of breaking away from the Chicago shoreline. Most of Lake Erie is uh, ice covered, with the exception of the extreme eastern portion of it, and 55% in Lake Huron. The total ice coverage, 41% right now, and the average for all the Great Lakes uh, for the peak is right around 53%. Speaking of that peak, let's take a look at the past five years, and this is where the Great Lakes have peaked last year uh, about 46 percent and you can see 2020 and also 2017 we never even made it to 20 percent uh, total ice coverage but you can see the years that certainly can fluctuate back in 2019 80.9 percent and we had well over 90 percent 2014 and also in the winter of uh, 1979 that's the most I've ever seen on the Great Lakes uh, in terms of that cold it looks like we're gonna have a couple more cold shots heading our way now you can see the temperature fluctuation out there but the real core of the Arctic air looks like it's gonna come surging again surging in again coming up this weekend so we'll take a look at that full weekend forecast and as that as we transition to the that colder air uh, it looks like we'll have a fairly decent uh, chance of snow by the way this is from Logan Bruker this is uh, drone footage over White Lake in uh, northern Muskegon County and that's just a gorgeous shot there you can see that right there look at all the ice fishermen out there it doesn't look safe but uh, it actually is quite thick out there. Some uh, lakes have about uh, over a foot of uh, ice thickness out there. Mm. Yeah, impressive nice looking shot. shot there. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Matt.